Hello. Okay, you're gonna have to excuse my face and the video quality, I guess, because I'm filming with my phone. I'm gonna have a blackout in like an hour and a half and I'm exporting my uh, Game of Thrones reactions that I just uh, finished editing. It's going to be a two part. I don't know when it's gonna be up because as I said, I'm gonna have a blackout and the video is definitely not going to be exported in an hour and a half. So I, I, I don't know what to do, but I took some notes and I need to talk about this because I have so many doubts and like I need to whine <laughs> a bit more about last night's episode. Um, okay, my notes are all over the place, so I am going to be all over the place. Just bear with me. It like I just took the notes down while I was editing the video. So okay. The White Walker army, they had a bunch of giants. I think they were even riding elephants. Where were the giants? We just saw one giant. When they were, uh, when they like lit up and fired the thing around the castle, I was like, where are the giants? They could just step in the fire and be like, boop, 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 and turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, where were the giants? And I'm pretty sure they were riding elephants, right? Or am I just Cersei obsessed with elephants? I'm, you know, my memory is pretty bad, so whatever. Um, giants, where were they? We just saw one. It's not fair. Um, did Ghost die? Ghost went up front with the Dothraki, and I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it because we knew the Dothraki were gonna die first. They were going first. This is not their weather. That like they don't even know. They fight like Vikings, you know. They go with everything, like oh, for Odin. Even if I die, whatever. Like they don't have like a skill. Like like they don't know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? So why? And I, I really hated that Jorah went with the Dothraki too, but uh, he had to. Whatever. But Ghost. He, he, he should have stayed with Arya or something in the castle and defending the ones in the crypt or something, you know? Not fucking going up front. Did he die? I don't even know because I'm not the only one, okay? The whole episode was so freaking dark and at first I was like, wow, I don't love a very shitty quality episode. But no, a bunch of my friends complained about the episode being too dark to see what the fuck was going on. Um, killing the Night King. The Night King got killed, oops, <laughs> the Night King got killed so fast, so fast. They have been telling us about the Night King and the White Walkers for seven seasons. Seven seasons, we have been waiting for this fight and it ended in one episode. I know it was an hour and a half long episode, but God damn it, it's just one episode. Like it was so freaking fast, at least two episodes, you know, at least we needed two episodes of, 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 this, of this fight because we were waiting for it for so long and they were like, oh my god, the Uber Walkers and the Night King and this is going to be... And then just in one episode, we defeat, defeat him? Like, no, no, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. Is the dragon that uh, John was riding dead? Because I think we saw it fall. But we didn't see it die, did we? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> also, when I watched the episode, it was 3 fucking a.m. and my camera ran out of battery and I had to charge it for like 20 minutes. So my experience was chopped, to put it in a word. Uh, I am very, very disappointed that, I, that we didn't see a Hodor. White Walker. So disappointed. This was the moment. This was the time to hit us in the fields a bit more with a Hodor White Walker. And it didn't happen. I'm so disappointed. I was really waiting for it. I was like even excited to see it. I was like, yeah, just rub my wound a little more. But no, didn't happen. Disappointed. Uh, the part where Arya was in the library was a uh, The Last of Us gameplay. 
Not gonna lie, I felt like I was playing The Last of Us. It's my favorite game, so like how I feel when I'm playing it is exactly how I felt when Arya was in the library. It was a The Last of Us gameplay. You can't change my mind. Um, the the White Walkers with the long hair. They didn't do anything. The whole show, the seven seasons, everybody's like, the white walkers are coming and these long-haired white walkers are like these badass bitches and they didn't do shit. They didn't do anything. Ah! I'm so mad about it. So mad, so mad about the fight ending in just one episode. Why didn't the long-haired white walkers did anything? So mad, so upset, so not happy. Um, I, I, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's everything I wanted to say. <sighs> I had a lot more, more complainings last night. I went to sleep at like 6 a.m talking about it because after the episode, after I cried my eyes out for Jorah, I knew Jorah was gonna die. You guys know he's my favorite. I knew he was gonna die, but in episode three, really? And you left, <laughs> stupid mosquito. And you left the Onion Knight alive, but you killed my baby Jorah. I knew he was gonna die defending Daenerys. Everybody knew that. But in episode 3, couldn't he just die when they were facing Cersei? I think the Cersei fight is the least important. I know the, oh my god, the throne and the seven kingdoms. The, but, but the White Walkers though, they have been raising an army for years and years and years and years and years. And it ended so fast. I think it was the least important fight. With the fight with Cersei is the least important. The more, the more, most important was the ones, the one with the White Walkers. And it ended just so fast. And I know freaking Cersei's fight is gonna last a, at least a couple episodes. And that makes me so sad. Especially because Jorah is not gonna be there. I can't. I can't. Mm. I would have been happy if we had just one very important death, which was Theon. Theon's death was um, was really great, honestly. Uh, I, I I really liked Theon. Theon, um, but we knew he was gonna die, and the way he died was okay. And I think out of all of the people that died in this episode, he was really huge like one of the biggest characters but jora was one of the biggest biggest characters too and i i think i would have been very happy it's just one if just one of them died instead of both because then you're like okay who do i suffer here like who do i cry for i cry for both <laughs> but jora like jora's death totally makes theon's death to me look like nothing like i don't even care which it's so mean and bad because I do care. I love Theon. God damn it. He shouldn't have died. The way Jorah died. Okay, I, I liked it. I wanted him to die defending Daenerys because that's what he would have wanted. And that's exactly what he did, but whatever. Um, but not so soon. It was, it was too soon. For Theon, it wasn't too, th too soon. I think it was perfect for him to die in this episode, but... Freaking Jorah shouldn't have died in episode 3. He shouldn't have. And, and, and why didn't we see uh, our people fighting Lyanna's uh, White Walker version and I don't remember the cross name. Ed? Like I wanted to see more, you know what I'm saying? Just one episode, even if it was an hour and a half long, wasn't enough. But anyways, my phone is about to run out of space. So I'm going to post this and yeah hopefully you guys can help me a little bit with my doubts and stuff and yeah i don't know when you're gonna have uh, my reaction but it's gonna be up probably between today and tomorrow or wednesday <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching bye trust me i'm in okta i look in the mirror and think you'll see a whole other world you'll think